Hi folks. In Chapter 3, we're going to see some more trends of development and growth in the American colonies. The things to keep in mind for this chapter, number one, the growth and the development of urban colonial America, mostly along the East Coast. Number two, the westward expansion of the Americans and the growth of class tensions between different groups within America. And finally, number three, increasing tension between both the old colonial countries in Europe and between the colonies and the mother country. Today we came to Fort Deschartes because in the years leading up to the American Revolution, France and England were competing for empire around the globe. And this included the Mississippi River Valley, and Fort Deschartes was the northernmost fort of the French Empire in the Mississippi River Valley. So England and France were competing for this area right here in Illinois. At the same time, while the Americans were helping the English against France, they were developing their own grievances with England. And in a few years, when they decided to have a revolution, they were going to want Illinois also. So this area, Fort Duchart, near Prairie de Rocher in southern Illinois, becomes a focal point for grievances that have international beginnings. For frontier colonies, forts served the same purposes as cities did back on the East Coast. They were the administrative centers, they also provided the military protection, and were social and economic centers for the community. People from all around, including Native Americans, would gather there for a variety of different events. But the frontier wasn't all about combat. Frontier forts, like Fort Deschart, would have also been the host for rendezvous. Rendezvous would have been uh, gathering places for traders, for trappers, merchants, all different types of people. And even though the fort never actually saw combat itself, it probably would have played host to many of these kinds of events. Okay, so as you read Chapter 3, keep in mind to look for three specific themes. Number one, the growth and development of urban colonial America. Number two, westward expansion and growing class tensions. And number three, increasing strain between the colonies and the mother country. So long from Fort Deschartes in southern Illinois. See you for Chapter 4.